In this video, I want to talk about something that is plaguing our society. You may be victim of it yourself and not even know. Let's talk about fear, F-E-A-R. I was thinking and I said, you know, for this video, I wanted to be a little bit more honest. So I, I not that I'm being dishonest, but I took the green screen down. No, no blue background, fancy background, just kind of opened up. And uh, for my YouTube channel, I want to be a little bit more open. And I want to talk to you about fear, not to teach you just to teach you about fear, although we will be talking about fear in depth. I want to talk about it from my own personal uh, experiences. Uh, how fear have plagued my life and what fear does, it ultimately does. And I know from experience is that fear will hold you hostage uh, or that it holds a particular part of yourself hostage. And that is your potential, your potential. And so many times we will have fear of the unknown, fear of what people will say, fear of the thought of others, you know, and then you find you find out that you never launch out in what you should have taken a step in. Fear will cause us to be stagnant, holding still, not moving. And I want to share this with you because someone out there who's watching this video is wanting to do something to move forward. You, you know what it is, but sometimes you have the fear of the unknown. You have the fear uh, or whatever your fear is. It's holding you still and you're not taking a step. Taking a step is moving forward and you want to move forward. So I want to talk to you, that person, that individual who's watching this now. It may be something that you need to do. Fear is stepping in. It may be somewhere you need to go. Fear is stepping in. Maybe it's a business. You're, you're getting ready to launch a business and fear is stepping in. I'm going to share this with you. When I first started this YouTube channel, this was something that is new for me. And I'm going to go even further than that. Further than that, uh, social fire itself. This is a, a e-church, a, a online community. Uh, and I'm grateful for the ones that I have. If y'all could help us by going ahead and subscribing, it's a free way to support. Uh, go ahead and click that uh, bell notification and, and listen to me. I sound like a YouTuber, <laughs> but it, it's something that is new for me because ministry for me, church for me has always been in a brick and mortar uh, uh, aspect, a, a terrestrial, a, a, a church building, a tangible, touchable uh, church. And that's what it's always been for me. Uh, I'm used to the smell of church, used to the sounds of church. Uh, but because of Jesus with the Great Commission, he commanded us to go out into the world and to teach them what we've been taught, you know, the Great Commission. Because of this Great Commission, uh, God called me to evangelism, not just in the brick and mortar church, because we do that in, in the standard church, but church online. Basically, he commanded me to go where people are. And I know in these online spaces, people are there, but he told me to do it in a way that I've never done ministry before. I, I This online ministry thing is new, just, just going to be transparent. And I had to pray. I'm going to go back even further than that because I do like putting things in sequential order. God gave this to my wife originally, to someone who I, I love, trust, and adore. Jess brought it up to me, and I was like, and for those that don't know, my wife's name is Jess. She's the best. Uh, but when God gave it to her, I was like, God, why would you give it to her and not give it to one of my ministry friends, my accountability partners or anything like that? God gave it to someone who he knew had my heart. This is something new. Uh, and God knew that I would listen to it. So what happened was, is that she gave it to me, told me about this, this ministry that's going to be all over uh, but not in just one place. Uh, at first, I'll be honest with you, it made no sense. And then, secondly, I, I was a little terrified of that because it didn't make it, it didn't make any sense uh, within the spectrum of what I know ministry to be. It, it didn't make any sense. So when I say fear set in, fear set in. Oh, uh, not that I didn't have faith in God. So I don't want to say fear stepped in over God, but fear stepped in in a way that got me to wonder what is this and and maybe you know maybe she ain't hearing god quite quite like she ought to now <laughs> now i'm just putting that out there and i know my wife hears god and so uh that would have been a question if it was anybody else but because it was her 
I, I knew that it had to be God. So here I am knowing ministry a particular way, and then God is challenging me to reach out even further in into an area that I had never done before. Now, I'm going to say this about fear because 2 Timothy 1, uh, first chapter and seventh verse says, for God have not given us a spirit of fear, uh, but the spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. God wants you to be in a sound mind, a clear mind, clear precision of thought. God wants you to be there. So he He doesn't give us fear. I don't, I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that your fear right where you are is something that God gave you. No, 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 no. It's not. It's not. Fear uh, actually empowers a different kingdom than faith does. Faith empowers the kingdom of God. Fear empowers the kingdom of the enemy. Faith, we know from uh, Hebrews 11 and 1, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen, uh, which is actually not faith, but it is more specifically what faith is made of. So if we're looking at that, faith, uh, we know by faith we connect to God, not by situation, but for revelation. And please understand, and I'm giving you this because we're just teaching as we're kind of giving you the testimony. But what happens here is that God does things by revelation. Whenever we say revelation, that means God's going to uncover or unveil some things to you. And revelation only comes by God. I don't care how much knowledge we get. You know, but I don't care how much schooling we get, education, that revelation can only come from God. And you can get all the education that you want from any institution that you want to get it from. But revelation, which is to uncover or unveil that which is hidden from men, that is the revelation is the Greek apoc apocalypsis there, uh, which is to uncover or unveil that which is hidden from men. God gives us the revelation for our situation. Ah. Uh, I hope y'all get that because that blessed me when I first received that. God will give you revelation for your situation. So God began to break some things in me. Uh, he began to challenge me as well. I also received some attacks from the enemy uh, within particular areas of my life. Uh, but it, I don't want to say that that was God getting me. No, we're not saying that that's God getting me, but we will say that uh, sometimes our trials are an indication uh, that there's movement that's going on in the spirit realm for us. I, I just believe that. I just believe that. And God was giving me this revelation and it, it had not all the way come together. I could not see the big picture. So fear was trying to get in there. The fear of the unknown, the fear of stepping out of that normality into something that I did not know. God, how am I going to do this? Who, who? God, this is not my space. You know, I like to be in the space where I can be an ace. But many times God will challenge us uh, by giving us something with a promise and not explaining the process. That, my friends, is what God will do many times to all of us. Give us the promise. He'll tell you, oh, you're going to be rich. Oh, that business is going to take off. But he don't tell you. The process, the process of the sacrifices that you're going to make, the processes of the midnight oil that you're going to have to learn, uh, that you're going to burn learning and earning. <laughs> uh, but you will get to where God share, share it with you. Uh, but it's going to take a process. And many times that is the frustrating part. So going back to this, we're talking about fear. Fear basically is forget, uh, I'll say this, uh, they say F-E-A-R, which is false evidence appearing real. The enemy will give you, the devil, Lucifer, will give you evidence as to why you shouldn't and you will not succeed at what you're trying to do, which causes fear to step in. And that fear keeps you from taking a step in what God have already promised. I hope y'all, I hope you, I hope you really are receiving it because what happens is, is that F-E-A-R, that false evidence appearing real also does another thing, which is F-E-A-R. It gets you to forget everything and run, forget everything and run. And sometimes we have to remember God, it makes me think about, you know, excuse me, it makes me think about the children of Israel uh, when God had brought them across the Red Sea. And in spite of God doing this miraculous thing, they still got on the other side of that miracle, that massive miracle. Not only did he part the way through a way that couldn't have been made, 
by any natural means of man. This was a supernatural experience with death chasing them. Death was chasing them and they needed to see God do. They was complaining, doing all of this, and God allowed them to go over a miracle, absolutely amazing miracle. And on the other side, in spite of that, they forgot. They forgot or ignored what God had already done. Many times fear can get in and make you forget your testimony. <laughs> it could make you forget how good God has really been to you. I mean, think about it. If we can't remember anything else, remember this. He woke you up this morning. You didn't wake up on, on your own will. It was God that allowed you to get up out of that bed. It was God. And we have to understand that not only did God do that, but there was several proof here. Here's the proof. There were several that did not get up, and you did. And so we have to remember those things. And I, I, don't, I say that because, it, one, it is cliche, but I want to challenge the cliche with some realism is that I don't care how many people say that or how many songs you hear that in, that is the reality of God. He did it for you. Others did not receive it. And we have to remember on this side of that miracle or on this side of any miracle that we can't forget how good God have already been to us, the ways he's already made for us. God have always made ways for us, but fear steps in and it causes us to forget hmm, what God have done. And so I want to share that with you because this social fire was a challenge for me. Just being honest with y'all. <laughs> My name is Rock, and I approve this message. This, this was the challenge for me because I am staring at a camera. I don't get anybody patting me on my back, talking my preach preacher, or people standing up applauding me, or different things like that. You, you don't get any of that. I, I can't read an audience from here. So those are the normal things. But I'm grateful that I still trust God and I trust his word. And so when God gave this, it wasn't called social fire at the beginning. Uh, it was just called the word from God. <laughs> and we stepped out on faith based on the word that God gave Jessica. Um, and he gave her the word. I heard it, could not understand it at first, but she kept bringing it up. And the more she brought it up, God would give me a little bit more revelation on it, a little bit more revelation on it. And as time went on, I was able to see clearly the challenge was now taking the step because it's still something that I've never done before. So even you, while you're there, it may be a business. It may be something with your family. It may be something that you're, you're uh, believing God for. It may be a level of faith that you've never had to believe God in. It may be something to that degree, but whatever it is, I want you to have faith in God and don't allow fear to win. Fear empowers, just like faith empowers the kingdom of God, fear empowers the kingdom of the enemy. That's that's what it's going to do. It empowers the kingdom of the enemy. And when it empowers the kingdom of the enemy, what happens is, is that it causes situations like faith um, empowers the kingdom of God and causes revelation. Situations come when we are allowing fear to be what moves us. Huh. I'm so glad that God did not give us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of love, the spirit of and a sound mind, the spirit of love and a sound mind. God wants you in your right mind. Let's just go and put that out there. I'm going to just go on and put that out there. God wants you, my friend, in your right mind. And so I wanted to talk today about fear. Fear is something that many people uh, we'll try to hide and disguise and different things like that. And I myself uh, went through that because it was the fear of the unknown. But I want to tell you, fear has a, a first cousin. And that first cousin is called worry. <laughs> and when fear shows up and invites his friends and his cousins over and worry shows up, worry gets you just to fester in that. You won't take any steps and you'll start taking steps back. See, fear will cause you to quit taking steps at all, worry will cause you to start taking steps back because what you're doing is that you're putting, worry causes you to put a down payment on a problem that you may never actually have. And so I want you to understand where you are right now. And this is something that I grew from. 
and I'm still growing from because day by day, each video more that I do, God blesses. I'm learning more. I, I don't I don't know what an influencer is. I'm just a little guy who's doing videos uh, because God shared this with me. And it's all a part of this social fire ministry. And so uh, e-church, <laughs> social fire e-church. And so I, I just want to make sure that everybody understands, um, you know, where you are. God may have uh, may have set you up for that, set you up for a comeback, set you up for a comeback. So I just wanted to share that with you. And if you get a chance, go through, look at some of the other videos that we have here. But I'm going to start doing more videos where I'm just open and honest. And our channel is kind of changing a little bit. But I just wanted to uh, stop in today and just talk to you about fear. You don't have to stay in fear. One, God didn't give it to you. So get rid of that fear and walk by faith and allow faith to be what you trust, even when you can't see how. Ooh, that's the that's the real revelation right there. Even when you can't see how, does the fact that you can't see mean that God can't do it? I got to give you a sound on that. Does the fact that you can't see it mean that God can't do it? <laughs> Many times God will wait till you can't see to show you who he is. He'll wait till you can't see it all to raise up and show you who he is. That's called his glory. <laughs> God wants to get glory out of your life. So I just believe that social fire and all of this that's going on with me personally is God showing me that he wants to get the glory because I don't know how to do this, but I'm trusting him. And as long as I trust him, I'll win. Until next time, we'll see you in the next video.